Archived content June 2, 2017 The cancellation of the Chelsea Parade is small beer in light of the events that led to the decision. In ordinary times, this would have been a good opportunity for the Chelsea supporters to give the players the appreciation that their outstanding title win had merited. This is particularly relevant after a miserable FA Cup final which put a downer on many of us. It would have been good to let Antonio Conte and the players know that respect and praise for a season's work ISNT lost because of one game. Feral Hopi be other more appropriate occasions for that to happen. While last Saturday's final waved a checkered flag over season 201,617, it also, in effect, fired the starting gun for season 201,718. Improbably an oddity in this but I feel that a summer without football is actually sometimes welcome. I want to catch my breath, allow for reflection and to build my anticipation for football to return. The pause is what allows the perspective for the enjoyment, you are free to be reminded of why, what and where. Supporters need that as much as players, after all, rest is a part of any preparation. However, these summers go by fast. In around 10 weeks, a new season will have started and the Chelsea players will be defending the title from an ever-increasing number of clubs wanting to pinch it. Memories of 201,516 Loomers both caution and guide. Chelsea know, like Leicester before us, the value of getting things right and the cost of error. It's no coincidence that shoddy pre-seasons have been consistent companions to all the troubles that have beset Chelsea title defences of seasons past. Pre-seasons 20,067, 201,011, 201,516 can all be cited. Losing the charity shield on each occasion was symptomatic of the pre-season malaise that bothered us as we surrendered titles with varying degrees of fault. Each time, many Chelsea supporters muttered unhappily about poorly planned transfer activity. However, it argued that equally problematic for us were the pre-season jaunts that looked like they were planned with accountants' expertise and a physiotherapist's dismay. Happily, even if we the IDNT know any of this, even if we were tempted to take another shortcut without preparation, there's one man would be having none of it. Antonio Conte famously told the Juventus board, when you have 10 euros in your pocket you can't eat in a restaurant where the meal will cost you 100. There may be scope for disagreement with the Italian's analogy but, one thing's for sure, he will not tolerate the sort of transfer shenanigans that epitomize the chaos of season 201,516, especially as he negotiates new contractual demands with the club. You'd also expect that the Italian would also have made his considerations known about physical preparation. It's an inevitability of the modern game that players fly everywhere and anywhere to impress global fan bases. Nevertheless, the consequences of this are not always recognized until that particularly lethargic draw in the first game of the season which sets a rot that can take months to fix. In that regard, it's particularly reassuring to note that Chelsea's major success this season came from an exhibition of endurance. Pundits persistently talked about Chelsea's lack of injuries but it's important to recognize that our success was as much a result of good conditioning as it was due to lack of European football. Take a look at some of Chelsea's key players. Eden Hazard was a virtual ever-present with 36 league appearances, despite being one of the most fouled players in the league. Achieved after the Belgian had played in Euro 2016 until the later stages. Then there was Cesar Aspilicueta who played every minute of every game. Gary Cahill, who missed only a single league appearance, said of contest training pre-season is always hard but this was one of the hardest I have experienced in the last few years definitely in terms of fitness, I feel it has been only good for the body and got us in the condition you have to be in to play in the Premier League. The result was a Premier League title, with records broken in achieving it. For all the talk of sums to be spent, the best investment for 201,718 will still be the hard yards and the focused preparation. Conte will probably be reminding his players that this is still true. Share this 27,932.